Hey guys, uh, back to the ball turning device I made recently, which has a little bit too much, a bit too much float on that uh, swivel. So we've got two choices, and in fact I've I've drilled a couple of holes through there so I can get at the uh, through there to the set screws for the T-nut because whatever I'm going to do down here is going to make the T-nut part of the swivel. So I've got two options. I'm going to try one first and what I'm going to do is uh, drill this down the middle, put in a fairly generous countersink and then put a slitting saw through and hope then that uh, I've got a five, got a five mil bolt here and the uh, countersink's just about okay. I may have to I may have to turn it down a little bit. Sorry I'm gonna move my hand in the way. <laughs> yes. Anyway I might turn the outside of that off just a little. Um, the idea being then that uh, seeing as I'm only after two a couple of thou maybe not much just to expand the base of this and see if that'll stabilize things a bit. Uh, if it doesn't, then I'll, second option, I'll set this up in the four jaw and machine out down to, I don't know, arbitrarily, quarter inch, maybe more, probably enough to take a cap screw and a washer, and, um, and then any hole that I've already got in here can either be reused with the same thread or drilled out and enlarged but the idea then is to have uh, tension from the bottom so that it virtually can't uh, can't rock at all and then further to that and certainly the any slitting saw arbor I've got is one of these cheapy multi-step things we'll have to see if that'll do I'm not going to bore you with all the drilling and tapping and stuff I'll come back to this uh, when I've done it and see if it works with stage one. If not, I'll go to stage two. Anyway, the other idea, and I've seen two examples of this. Whoops. Sorry, kicking the, kicking the tripod. Um, I've got a spare boring head. That's uh, 7 8 20 thread. And although I can get a shank for it, anything from half to an inch, I believe, I'm going to make my own and uh, cut my own thread. So the idea is this is my very original tool post, first one I ever had with the lathe. What I've done is I've I've milled it out so that it'll take an inch bar, inch square, just on that side. And then I'll bore through the inch bar uh, the right position both for machine center and everything else and then make the shank arbor for this uh, to suit. So I'll bore the one inch first and then we'll make the make the arbor um, turn that down so that it's a really snug fit not loose just nice and snug and then with the right suitable cutter in the end here we can rock that over the work and hopefully cut a ball. I like this idea better than the other one because for my purposes I haven't got the center height clearance uh, um, for this first experiment which is really what it was just an experiment. So we'll see where we go I'm hoping to pick up a piece of inch square tomorrow. It's one, one size I don't seem to have amongst all my bits. So I'll come back a bit later and see where we're going. All right, um, here's what we've done. I took the handle off, but I've worked on this all together because this was press fitted in here. So Actually, I used a very thin slitting saw to begin with, but it was so dull I used a bigger one. This one's about, uh, what is it, 32 or something, I don't know. A bit bigger than I needed, but 
and I've gone a little bit deeper than I did on the first cut. So, yeah, I think it's working up to a point. So I'll put the countersunk screw in, which I turned down on the outside a bit. It's all, it's all a bit of a squeeze, to be honest. And uh, I think it's better than it was. Oh, I know what I meant to do. Oh, I can do that in a minute. Now that's a little bit of, oh, there's still a bit of movement. It may well be that we're not going to get the, uh, yeah, I've got the right screwdriver for that. It's, uh, it's another style of screw, which I thought, no, it is, it was, it's the sort of screw that, uh, in the UK, we used to call Posi Drive, which is actually a very good system. Let's tighten that up a little bit more. Let's get a little bit of oil down those cuts. Now I'll put it in the tool post and see if there's any. I think there's a slight improvement, but anyway. I may well no, not go further ahead on this except for another tool when I get a suitable drill so I can drill an HSS bit. Otherwise though I think I'm going to start making as soon as I can the um, tool post mounted version with the boring bar, boring head I should say. I'll just put this in the lathe a minute. I don't think the expansion of that countersunk screw is actually enough because the material is very thick once you get down to the thread um, but at least now I can do this up from the top as it, and it was just fouling, fouling up very slightly I might make them bigger anyway I'm just putting this on to see where we go well, it is firmer. There's a little bit of rock. But I think for usage, if I actually use it much, I can uh, stabilise this side and still get a good sweep. The reason I want to make the uh, tool post version is so that I've got a complete freedom to rock there and get behind the ball. So we'll see how that works out. Anyway, that's an update on that. I don't think I'll go a lot further except uh, just for maybe try some other tooling at some point. If I do, I'll let you know and uh, show you. All right, that's it for this stage. Thanks for watching.